Hi everybody, this is Barry Schwartz and this is Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, November 9th, 2012. And this is the news we covered over the past week, basically week and a half, um, over at the Search Engine Roundtable, seroundtable.com. The first thing I wanted to talk about was that there was another Panda refresh, a Google Panda refresh. This is version number 21, it happened on November 5th. Um, uh, Google confirmed it both on Twitter, as well as confirming it both on uh, the Search Engine land. Um, it seemed like a pretty small update. There wasn't much uh, chatter and communication around it. There was some sightings of it. Uh, but Google said this affected about 1.1% of English queries and about 0.4% of queries of regular searches all around the world. Again, this is the 21st uh, Panda update. The one before that was Panda 20, which happened on September 27th. <clears throat> There was also a Google PageRank update. The PageRank update happened the night of November 7th uh, through November 8th. We have posted that on November 8th. Um, a lot of different people said their PageRank has up, went up or down and whatever. Um, again, PageRank is a stale number updated every once, a quarter, once every quarter or so. Um, it doesn't really have a direct impact on your search rankings, but yet it is a factor in the search rankings overall. So just so you know about that. Um, it's official. Google's um, new top-down navigation that we've been covering for the past several months in terms of them testing it for a while is now official. I said, I think a week or so ago, that Google was testing it again, and I said I wouldn't be surprised if it actually came out and it was actually something they're going to go with, and it seems like they have. Um, I think a few days ago they actually released it to the public. It's now live for everybody, I believe. And I believe it's going to, Google says this is a clean, more it's more centric to their mobile interface, and people tend to like it, and they've been testing it for a while. It's a simpler and cleaner design. Google says, truthfully, I think this is going to lead to a lot more clutter in Google search results. Um, so we'll see how that happens over the time, over the years or so. Uh, but I have a post about it on November 7th. Um, and also, Google has started a thread um, asking people to give them feedback on the top down navigation. And I posted about that today. If you want to go ahead and leave them feedback, you can go, to, you can go do so. Um, I have a link to that feedback thread on November 9th. And just tell them what you do or don't dislike about it. So I spotted the thread at, thread at Webmaster World this morning. Um, the thread basically talks about how he, somebody felt that he was scammed. He got an email, supposedly from Google, saying you have manual action against you for links, for bad links. So what he went did for the past two months was actually remove a lot of links, submitted a reconsideration request to Google, and Google told them you don't have a manual penalty for links. Your, your link structure is fine. So you're not, your ranking has nothing to do with your links. So he feels like he got some spam email from some scammer trying to convince him to remove links to his website and what that did was actually probably hurt his site more often. So you gotta be careful when you actually get a link, manual link penalty remove, uh, notification from Google, just don't jump on that. You should actually go into Google Webmaster Tools, log in, see if the message is actually in Google Webmaster Tools. If it is, then it really came from Google. If it didn't, it's not there, and it's not from Google, and you don't have to actually remove links. Um, so be careful, hopefully you guys won't be scammed about that, uh, but I guess you know people do whatever they can to uh, be careful. Um, this is an interesting stat. Um, Matt Cutts made a side comment on a Hacker News thread <coughs> talking about, you know, when you do a search of Google, um, they might use your previous query. So if you do a search for iPhone and you go back to Google and do a search for Wikipedia, Google might combine, might combine those two words that you've done and do a search for iPhone Wikipedia as opposed to just Wikipedia. It's using something called previous search query. It's part of adjusting the, uh, the search rankings for you. And they use that not so often. Google's Matt Cuts actually said that they only use that about 0.3% of the queries. So it's not used that often. I thought that stat was pretty interesting. Google's been um, doing this since 2008 in terms of the previous query uh, adjustment. Um, and it's really not done that often. It's only 0.3% of search queries. Um, here's another interesting tidbit. On October 29th, I posted that Google's um, John Mueller went ahead and said that search engine submission services could actually be harmful to your website. Meaning, um, if you sub there's like all these sites out there that say submit your site here and we'll go ahead and pay us $5 and we'll go ahead and submit you to 1 million search engines across the world and directories and stuff like that. John says some of those directories might actually have bad reputations and actually might be bad links to your website which could actually hurt your website from ranking well in Google. So don't use those site submission services as one, it's a waste of your money, but two, now it could actually hurt you. Again, there's more information about that on October 29th. Another thing that Google said was that you should make sure your headshot <coughs> in your Google Plus profile is recognizable. 
Um, it's not that you have to be pretty, it just means it has to be recognizable. You can't have flashy stuff going around it, things like icons and stuff. It has to be a good quality headshot. Um, so you can take a look at that. Um, we have a post about it on October 30th, which Google's John Mueller actually went ahead and said that as well, linked to the Google document on, those, on that topic. Google is testing new, supposedly, I'm not sure if this is legit or not, but Google's testing in their AdSense text ads thumbnail icons. This is interesting because Google has disallowed you to place images next to your AdSense text ads because it artificially inflates your click-through rate, which Google doesn't like. But it seems like Google might be testing it themselves unless this person has some type of extension on the computer or malware that's actually injecting this stuff. Um, anyway, if you want more information about that, November 7th at seroundtable.com. Google's UK search share has dropped below 90% for the first time in several years. Um, at this, at this point, it seems like Google's not doing as great as they should be, but only dropped a small, a really, really small percent, um, but it does t t tend to worry some people. Finally, we have some logos. Google had a Bob Ross logo. He's the uh, painter. Um, he was very famous on PBS for the joy of painting. And they have a doodle um, remember, remembering him set his 70th birthday um, as well. And then uh, Google had a, a logo yesterday for Bram Stoker books. Um, he was the guy who wrote the novel Dracula, and he has a special, they had a special logo up on Google's properties yesterday for his 165th uh, birthday or so. Um, in any event, that covers the Search Buzz video recap. Thanks again for all the support out there for what I went through in the past week or so. I apologize for missing last week's video, um, and hopefully I won't have to miss any in the future. In any event, thanks again so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. Today is November 6th, Friday. Everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Bye.